What's up, guys? Max here, host of the Scuttlebutt Show. Welcome to today's episode where we're going to be talking about the trailer for the new movie Ambulance from Michael Bay. We're going to react to the trailer and talk about what that movie is about. First, before we do, if you're into military content, knowing everything that's going on in and around the United States military, hit that subscribe button with notifications on, and let's start talking about Ambulance. So Ambulance is a new movie from Michael Bay focused on a main character who I didn't I didn't realize this when I first saw this trailer floating around over the weekend, but his name is Will. He's a Purple Heart recipient. He served his country in combat, comes home, finds out the times are tough. His wife gets sick and he needs hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash to get by. I guess the VA is not doing their job, not taking care of the veterans. So he has to go out and start committing crimes, I guess, to uh, to make money to pay for his family's well-being, put food on the table and all that. Hey, I guess that's how it is now. If you get out as a, a hero, you can't get your VA disability rating up above that 50% to take care of you and your family. So you got to go resort to, I don't know, bank robbery, whatever we're going to find out this movie's about. Let's pop over and check out this trailer and react to it. All right, guys. So this is the trailer for Ambulance from uh, Michael Bay. Let's see what this is all about. I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry that I brought you into this. I just wanted things to be the way they used to be. <laughs> So we've got Jake Gyllenhaal here, it looks like. Uh, people tell me I look like Jake Gyllenhaal. I don't know. If you guys see it, leave it in the comments. If you think that's crazy, leave that in the comments too. I'd love to hear it. That's my brother. Oh, yeah. So, so far we got lens flares, fancy cars. This is definitely, you didn't need to put Bay films in there. I could have guessed that this is a Michael Bay film right here. Well, I could use some help. My wife needs this surgery. This is real life. How's that right? You put your life down on the line for this country? You leave your family, your home? How much do you need? 231. How about more? 32 million. And I need an extra man. I came to you for a loan. Look, have I ever gotten you anything that I couldn't get you out of? It's time for you to do something for your family. Didn't Netflix make this movie? It was called Triple Frontier, something like that, about army guys coming back from overseas, feeling disenfranchised, let down by the government that they served, which a lot of us veterans probably do feel that way, especially right now with everything going on with Afghanistan. And then they have to resort to that life of crime. Didn't didn't uh, Netflix already make this movie? Let's see what they're doing different here. What can I do you for, officer? We're just doing a transfer in the back. I'll let uh, you in in 20 minutes. Uh, if I could just get it done real quick, because I'm on the clock, promise not to rob the place. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, because that would be bad for my job. Okay. <laughs> I promise. All right, okay. All right, all okay. right. Come on. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go, D. You are all going to have the greatest story to tell at dinner tonight. Get out! <laughs> Don't shoot a cop! All right, so this is a bank robbery gone wrong. You know what's interesting here? Zero attempts made to conceal their faces or cover up their identities or anything. So I don't know what's going on here. It looks like this is going to be, I don't know, a movie in the style of Heat or something like that or Reservoir Dogs where they're on the run after the heist gone wrong, which is kind of cool. I like that formula for movies. I'm into it. But, you know, I don't know how hard they're going to lean into this military aspect of these guys trying to walk the line between the code of honor that they swore to uphold in the military and the life of crime that they're now undertaking. It's, a, it's an interesting, you know, topic to cover. It's an interesting theme for the movie. So it could be good. I like Jake Gyllenhaal a lot. The other actor, I don't remember what his name is off the top of my head, but he looks familiar. So it looks like they have a posse of uh, miscreants who are up to no good. Maybe they're going to, you know cause more trouble than Jake Gyllenhaal had had orig originally planned for and get the heat on them extra hard so that they're going to be pursued throughout the city. I pretty much see how this movie could go already. Lock everything down. Nothing gets out. Establish a perimeter. <laughs> Typical All cop stuff. February, huh? This movie's coming out just in time for Valentine's Day, fellas, so get your date nights ready. Stop! Get out! Oh. What do you want? I'm just gonna borrow it. Little Megan Fox wannabe in the ambulance here. She's gonna be the getaway driver, subject of an overuse of lens flare camera techniques and uh, maybe a romantic interest sparking between Jake Gyllenhaal and her by the end of the movie. What do you guys think? I got a cop shot. I got to get him to the hospital. I'm going to need you to help us. Why don't you help us? We do hostages now. We're not crashing into this ambulance. We got a brother cop on board. 
Do you have EMT experience? Combat three eyes. You're a soldier? Yeah. We are trying to save you. One, two, three. Hey! Don't you move! You think you're so tough with that gun? No, Danny, relax! I gotta get back to my wife and my son. Does your wife know you're up, Banks? We're not the bad guys. We're just the guys trying to get home. We don't get to walk off into the sunset! Yeah, I mean, there's no real uh, good way out of this for them. I'm pretty sure they're in a little too deep. Their identities are known. The crimes they've committed would easily land them in prison for life. No question about that. So they're going to have to figure this one out. I wonder how they're going to get out of this. My, my prediction here is this movie concludes with uh, Will facing off against Jake Gyllenhaal's character. Maybe his name is Danny, from what I heard, uh, to rescue the girl, and he sacrificed himself. I mean, I'm going to see this 100%, but I, I would be surprised if I'm surprised by any aspect of this movie. Danny, everybody knows how dangerous you are. Do you? You get your helos out of here now! I'm gonna get you back home, little brother. I'm gonna get everybody home. So that's Ambulance coming out February 18th, right after the weekend after Valentine's Day, I'm sure. Valentine's Day will probably be on that Tuesday or whatever, the typical Valentine's Day story of my life. Got to remember to go get a nice set of flowers and some chocolates on a Tuesday. Typical, typical, typical. So are you guys excited for seeing Ambulance? If you are, let me know in the comments down below. Do you think this movie is going to be, you know, by the numbers, classic heist movie? I'm thinking heat mixed with speed, mixed with Reservoir Dogs mixed with Dog Day Afternoon style movie here in that downtown L.A. scenario. I'm, it's probably going to be good. You've got a good cast. You've got Michael Bay, so you know he's going to bring the action, the explosions, and all that. It's going to be on point. Or is it going to be a flop? Is it going to be on streaming or in theaters? Or, or where are you guys planning on seeing this movie? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Does that trailer excite you to go see this movie? Or are you like, mm, hard pass on that one? I'm curious your thoughts. With all that being said, that's going to wrap it up for this one. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Like this video. It helps a lot for this channel to grow. I'll see you on the next one. And for now, that's the scuttlebutt. What's up, guys? Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button up in the corner here and check out this next video. If you want, in the description down below, there's links where you can get Scuttlebutt Show merch and find out how you can support the channel. I really appreciate it, and I look forward to talking to you guys very soon.